What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here, and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update, the two upcoming packages, part one, the physical infrastructure package, which is being voted on in the Senate this week. They have already passed two um, kind of preliminary votes on that this week, and they're going through the initial um, amendment stages of it right now in the Senate. Um, they're expected to pass the next or the final stages of it uh, this week as well. Then, then we'll be moving on to the next stimulus package, um, the largest stimulus package yet to date, $3.5 trillion. Yes, the next stimulus package will be larger than any stimulus package we have ever had yet. As uh, the third stimulus check package, which had the $1,400 checks for adults, children, and child uh, or and adult dependents, uh, $1,400. And on top of that, it had the $3,000 to $3,600 child tax credits uh, on top of the $1,400. That stimulus check package was only, only $1.9 trillion. This package has been announced at $3.5 trillion. So it was almost double the size. Now it might be negotiated down a little bit, but remember this next package, this fourth stimulus package, um, that it's largely being, the, that's kind of the name it's being called. It's also called the American Families Plan, the Social Infrastructure Pla <laughs> Package. It has a lot of different names. Um, the Democrats are passing it on their own through the reconciliation process, okay? Um, not a single Republican is going to vote yes on that process, okay? Um, the way it's going to go down is 50 Republicans are going to vote no, 50 Democrats are going to vote yes, and then the tiebreaker vote is going to go to the vice president, Kamala Harris, and uh, then it will pass. That is exactly how the third stimulus check package passed. Not a single Republican voted yes on it, and the Democrats passed it anyways because the Democrats have control of the House, the Senate, and the presidency until 2022, at least, when the next midterm election comes up for re-election, when the House and the Senate goes up for re-election, not the presidency, that's in, uh, until that's in 2024, and that is largely expected to be a rematch of former President Donald Trump and current President Biden. It's largely expected to be the Republican candidate. It's largely expected to be um, former President Donald Trump again. So uh, <laughs> it's like a heavyweight title fight in boxing is expected to be a rematch. So uh, you can let me know your thoughts on that. So we got a lot to cover here today. Um, we're going to cover state stimulus checks and money going out for people in different states. We're going to cover the fourth stimulus package going out and details on the voting process of what's going on here, as well as a scandal going on in the Democratic Party. Yeah, things are literally changing by the minute. Yeah, let's jump right in. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below. It's completely free to do so. And remember that new videos come out here on our channel every single day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., and 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Don't forget to hit the like button for us. I bring you the truth here every single day. And uh, here we go. Okay, number one, President Biden has issued a new eviction moratorium uh, that has uh, lapsed. The Supreme Court actually said that he couldn't do this, and uh, they did it anyways. So um, this will protect millions. They actually said up to 11 million renters, about 90% of all the renters. I'm not going to go too deep into the details of this. I explained it more in the video before this. So uh, I'll link it to that at the end of this video. Also, there's uh, about $40 billion plus dollars in rent assistance where you can get your rent paid for up to 12 months. I'll link you to a video on how to get rent assistance at the end of this video as well. Hopefully, I'll remember to do both of those. Um, but I'm not going to go deep into details on both of those in this particular video. But I will link you to um, details on uh, videos I did with more information about that. But the Biden administration has issued a new eviction moratorium, even though the Supreme Court said, and the Supreme Court is actually uh, controlled by Republicans right now, there's six Republicans out of the nine Supreme Court justices are Republicans. So they might challenge President Biden um, with a lawsuit, but that's going to take time. So it's kind of like he, he, they said he couldn't do it, but he did it anyways. And he's basically kind of saying, well, sue me. If, if you don't think I can't do it, sue me. And uh, 
And uh, maybe you might be right, but uh, that might take weeks or months for for us to go through a lawsuit. So nonetheless, he has has done this. Now, the interesting part there is that you know a lot of people say the eviction moratorium is a little bit of a double-edged sword because yeah, it protects millions of people that are renters, but it also hurts the mom and pops that are out there that maybe have rental properties. You know, a lot of you know even. Um, People that are retired, they go and as part of their retirement, they rent or I'm sorry, they own one rental property and uh, they're not getting any rental rental income because the person in the rental property is not paying their rent. The good news is, is that President Biden announced this and I've kind of known this, but a lot of people don't know this, is that the money for the um, rental assistance goes to the landlord. OK, so this 40 some billion dollars that the states still need to get out for this rental assistance, that money goes to the landlord. So they need to get the rental assistant out quicker. They need to ease up on the restrictions so that the landlords can get paid and um, the renters can stay in their places. And remember, this rent assistance money, this 40 some billion dollars that is still available from the third stimulus check package, remember that's just one of the stimulus items. When they pass these stimulus package, there's a lot more in there than just stimulus checks. Like the third stimulus check package, they had the $1,400 stimulus checks. They had the $3,000 to $3,600 child tax credit checks on top of that. They had like 40 some billion dollars in rent assistance and mortgage assistance and utility assistance in there. They had all sorts of different things that I can't even really think of them all right there. They had internet assistance. They had SNAP work and pandemic EBT assistance in there. They had unemployment assistance, the $300 per week unemployment benefits in there. They have all these different things in there. When we talk about a package, there's a lot of different things in there. There's more than just the straight up stimulus check. It's a whole package of things, right? And remember, this next package coming out is twice or almost twice the size of the third stimulus check package. So there's a lot of money in there for who knows what there's going to everything in the kitchen sink right and now with the uh covid cases going crazy almost 150,000 new covid cases yesterday yeah yeah three times as many cases as we had a year ago today even though 70% of the united states has uh one shot of the vaccine and 60% of the united states has two fully vaccinated we had 150,000 new positive COVID cases yesterday. Um, yeah, there are um, stimulus checks coming from states. Okay, some of them, some states call them stimulus checks. Some of them call them tax rebates. Some of them call them different names, right? And in fact, the, the next stimulus check and the next stimulus package might be considered a tax rebate, a tax credit. They're, they're disguising it under different names. We're not even sure what it's going to be called. Remember, the child tax credits are actually just checks from the government to the tune of $3,000 to $3,600 per child per year, right? We don't really care what they call it. Just give money to the people while they're in their time of need. But there are checks coming from different states, remember? And I'm going to show you here this kind of interesting article I've seen with different states that are sending out money right now. But remember that the third stimulus check package, one of those stimulus provisions, I remember I couldn't even think of them all because there's literally dozens of them, The states, cities, and counties are all getting their own share. States are getting money, cities are getting money, and counties are getting money. They all get their own share of money. And they all get to decide how they want to spend their money independently. Um, $350 billion. Okay, Cities get to decide how they want to spend their money on their own. Counties are getting their own share of their money. They get to decide how they want to spend their own money. And states are getting their own money. $350 billion total. Okay, And a lot of um, states, cities, and counties are sending their money back to their residents in the form of stimulus checks or um, stimulus type programs like California that is sending out $600 stimulus checks. Yeah. To up to like 27 million people. So yeah, the first round of this has gone out the first $600 stimulus check from California that went out to people making up to $30,000. I think they're still going out to be honest. I think these are still going out. So if you haven't got it, uh, you also could 
call the state office if you didn't get it, um, because again, they're, they're very slow at sending this out. You know how the government is. The second round is going to go out to people making up to $75,000. Again, it's going to be like 26 or 27 million people in total. It's a lot of people. It's a lot, a lot of people. Okay. Um, we're going to see these type of programs in more states. In fact, I'm going to show you here uh, the different states that I just found are, are sending out more programs like this. Okay. Um, also, if you have children in the state of California, you can now qualify for uh, an additional $500 stimulus check for a total of $1,100. Uh, the second round for people making up to $75,000, these checks are going to start going out apparently in September. This is already approved. It's already passed. So yeah, if you make up to $75,000, you can get a $600 stimulus check for round two. Or if you have $500, uh, or if you have, sorry, if you have children, you can get an additional $500 for a total of $1,100 stimulus check from the states. This is in addition to any stimulus checks coming from the government, uh, stimulus check one, two, or three, or four, if it comes out, when it comes out, in addition to child tax credits, in addition to that, in addition to unemployment checks, in addition to all the other stuff, this is literally just a bonus check on top of all those other stimulus check, all those other things. Okay, here's a list of some of the other states that are sending out some now or have sent out some in the past. Colorado is sending $375 to those who have received at least one unemployment payment between March 15th, 2020 and October 24th, 2020. Higher income workers who qualified for more than $500 per week in base unemployment benefits are not eligible. So Colorado is going to send an extra $375 check to those who received unemployment between March 15th and October 24th of last year as an additional check. You may have already gotten this. Okay. Number one, Maryland passed. Uh, legislation several months ago to repeal all state and local taxes on unemployment benefits and include immediate stimulus payments of $500 for families and $300 for individuals who filed the earned income tax credit. I believe this one has gone out as well. If you're from Maryland, let me know if you received this uh, stimulus payment of $500 and $300 for individuals who filed for the earned income tax credit. Again, this is a stimulus check passed by Maryland as well, okay? We're going to be seeing more of these payments uh, from different states as well in the future as state, cities, and counties have gotten their fair share of this $350 billion, and they're really just trying to figure out how to spend it now. New Mexico's state stimulus program has earmarked $5 million to be distributed to New Mexicans who didn't qualify for federal stimulus payments. So again, New Mexico's state stimulus program has earmarked $5 million to be distributed to, to, to New Mexicans who didn't qualify for five for I'm sorry, for federal stimulus payments. Federal funding retention bonus. Several states have decided to use some of their federal money as retention bonuses for teachers. Cool. Kind of like a little bit of hazard pay there. As most schools are expected to open in person this year, as reported, there the bonuses also act as a thank you for the particularly rough school most teachers had to endure. So several states, it does not list here um, which states, but um, yeah, a little bit of type of hazard pay there. Florida allocated a $1,000 check to most teachers and administrators, but controversy arose when Governor Ron DeSantis notably left some educators out. The situation is still developing. Again, another form of hazard pay from the state of Florida. The state of Georgia has one of the most generous plans with Governor uh, Kemp authorizing a full-time teachers and administrators to receive $1,000 stimulus checks with part-time teachers receiving $500. The plan is underway to provide for pre-kindergarten educators as well in the state of Georgia. Again, a form of stimulus check or a form of hazard pay as well for the state of Georgia. Michigan. Although a retention bonus like Georgia and Florida has not yet been outlined, Michigan sent out $500 hazard pay bonuses to teachers earlier this year. Pretty cool. 
Tennessee. Tennessee state governor government passed a bill in June that scrapped an expected 2% raise and replaced it with a $1,000 check it labeled as hazard pay bonuses to full-time teachers. So again, a $1,000 check, it labeled it hazard pay bonus for full-time teacher. Part-time teachers got a $500 check. Eligible individuals will receive their checks by the end of this year. Pretty cool. Extra $1,500 to $1,000 check. Texas. The state of Texas has not yet confirmed a statewide retention bonus, but certain districts are doing their part for teachers. Fort Worth and Arlington will increase 4% for all district employees. Denton and Mansfield teachers will receive a 2% raise. Denton employees will also receive a $500 bonus. And in Irving, a $2,000 payment will be distributed to who returned to the classroom in September? Wow, a $2,000 bonus uh, for Denton, Texas teachers. Wow, pretty awesome, $2,000. Yeah, if you believe you're eligible for these checks, make sure to log on to your state's treasury website. Pretty interesting. Yeah, so that's just that. You can look this um, article up on Yahoo, finance.yahoo.com if you want to get more information from this particular website. This isn't even all of them because I, I noticed that the $500 New Jersey tax rebate checks or stimulus checks for the state of New Jersey, which went out to 760,000 eligible households, which started going out in July, I believe, to um, people with children, um, I believe it was, yeah, couples with below $150,000 income for couples and $75,000 for individuals and have at least one dependent child would receive income tax rebates up to $500, as you can see here in black and white. A lot of people don't even know about these programs unless they watch my show. Uh, but again, that's why I like to show this here literally in black and white. So, so a lot of people say, New Jersey's not doing something like this. What are you talking about? And then they're like, Oh, yeah, sorry about that, Jimmy. I, I just read it there in black and white. <laughs> it's like, guys, I'm not making this stuff up. That's why I'd like to show it to you here in black and white. So uh, literally, if you're not watching my show, a lot of people literally just do not know about these programs. And there are programs going on uh, 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 like this around about the country. In fact, this, this article from Yahoo Finance, I didn't even know about the majority of those programs until today. In fact, I found out about it like yesterday, and I was like, I better look into this a little bit before before I show this on the channel, uh, because I, I just literally needed to do my due diligence a lot. But yeah, that's why I like to show this. I show my sources. Uh, I show it in black and white, because a lot of people just, uh, they're like, I've never heard about this program before. I'm like, guys, this, this article from New Jersey is from NewJersey.com. NewJersey.com. I mean, if it's from New Jersey and it's from NewJersey.com, I mean, it's got to be pretty credible guys. Um, but so the thing is, is that for this particular New Jersey one, it's, it's only for people, uh, with children. Okay. So again, I don't make the rules. I don't make the laws. New Jersey passed this, right? So, I mean, if you don't have children, you don't get this particular one. Um, but it's only one thing that New Jersey's passed. There's plenty of more money to go around and they can definitely pass more money like this. So yeah, the good news is, is that they've passed an eviction moratorium. If you're a landlord that you, you should be getting once they pass more or once they get out more of this, um, rental assistance that you, that goes to the landlord. So that will help the landlords if, if it goes out, if they get it, um, you know, if you're one of the 11 million people that are in risk of losing your home, try to apply for the rent assistance. I'll link you to a video how to get that here in a moment. The other good news is that this the new COVID cases, not that COVID is good news by any means, but this is prompting more states and Congress and the federal government and the president to just literally do everything they can to get more stimulus out, whether that's stimulus checks, this next stimulus package, rent assistance, eviction moratorium, literally everything they can. It's like, get on your high horse now or get on your horse, as my father would say, and do everything you can as fast as possible now. So the COVID cases are out of this world, right? Um, it's just it's just going crazy at this point. 150,000 new cases in one day. Um, when a month ago we were at 5,000 new cases in one day. So, uh, you know, here's the deal. They're going to try to do... It's just, it's emergency mode now. It's crisis mode. 
Um, I mean, they're, they're talking about New, New York City just issued a vaccine mandate that if you want to go to restaurants, you have to be vaccinated. Again, I know that might sound crazy, so let me show it to you here in black and white because you might not believe me. Here it is on CNBC. New York City will require proof of vaccination for restaurants, gyms, and indoors. So it doesn't mean that they're going to like uh, make you take, take a shot. Uh, but if you want to go to a restaurant or a gym or an indoor venue, which is anything indoor, kind of, uh, that you will need a vaccination or you physically cannot go to a restaurant. It literally just passed um, like yesterday in New York City. So, yeah, like this is for real, guys. It's getting crazy. So, yeah, and emergency stimulus, it's just, it's like they're, they're figuring out now, like, hey, what do we need to do? Like, they just passed the eviction moratorium, even though the Supreme Court said you couldn't do it. So um, we're in emergency crisis mode now because of how bad things are getting. I mean, they, they literally said that vaccines would never be made mandatory, and now they're doing it. So uh, you can't go to a restaurant now in New York City unless you have a vaccine. So uh, it, it's it's getting crazy out there. Yeah, it's getting crazy, guys. So uh, I didn't even get to a lot of the things I had to get to in this video because the world is just on fire, basically. It's on fire. Things are changing by the moment. Um, and um, uh, they're also going to be passing part one here. Um, they're in the final like amendment stages at this point. And then they're moving on to part two. Um, and honestly, I think that they're going to, they're basically in emergency crisis mode. Of course, Mitch McConnell doesn't think so. They're, he, he's, <laughs> he basically said, oh, I don't know, we might need more time for these amendments. But, you know, the Democrats are basically, uh, basically saying, we need to figure out how to pass more rent assistance, stimulus checks, stimulus items, everything stimulus, because we might be look, looking at lockdowns. They're talking about, um, what state just issued uh, mask mandates? Was it Louisiana? States are issuing mask mandates. We're possibly seeing lockdowns. China just issued a lockdown. Here it is. Millions are, again, under lockdown in China because of the Delta variant. And honestly, China is one of several countries. There's literally countries all across the United States that are locking down because of the Delta variant. So if you think it can't happen in the U.S., I'm not saying it can't or it can, but it's happening across the world. And our cases are literally skyrocketing. So, yeah. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure to subscribe down below. I'm going to keep you updated with everything. These stimulus packages, infrastructure package, emergency stimulus that they're talking about now, whether they can do it through executive order. Remember, they just did... Basically, it wasn't through executive order, but it's through basically CDC executive order, this emergency rental ban. Uh, make sure to subscribe down below. Share this video with your friends and family. There's going to be more state emergency stimulus coming out. If your state wasn't mentioned, there will be more states doing this in the future. You may not have even known about these state stimulus programs that um, I mentioned today. There will be a lot more coming in the future for more states. So if you didn't, if your state wasn't mentioned today, there will be more mentioned in the future. States just really got their $350 billion in the last few weeks. A lot of times they have to figure out what they do. A lot of times the states have to vote on it. So keep that in mind. You can click this video here to watch my newest video about the eviction moratorium and how President Biden, they just passed the extension. And this video is how to get rent assistance. If you want to apply for that, you definitely should. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks, guys, and I will see you in the next video.